Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Olivia Jarvis. In today's video, I am going to be doing a huge Tesco food haul and just sort of talk to you about some meal ideas and um, also just run through some cleaning stuff that I've bought. Generally, I'll always do like two shop runs. As you probably know, I recently moved house, so like I've just been checking out the supermarkets in the area. I popped over to Tesco and I just wanted to see what they had like in comparison. I usually shop around to be honest, like, I'll always go to Home Bargains and B&M for um, like cleaning stuff and then I'll probably get my main stuff like maybe Aldi, Tesco or whatever's closest or like most convenient. I did notice Tesco is definitely more expensive and pricey than Aldi but generally I think they do have a lot more selection sometimes like of more, some more like branded stuff where it's sometimes in Aldi I don't always get like sauces that I want and just stuff like that but I love Aldi for their meat and I think they've got a really good like variation there. Whilst I've been away I've just been eating absolutely everything. I'm actually looking forward to getting into a bit more of a routine like with my diet again i haven't really caught up with you guys since i got back obviously um i've been away and then I, you if you follow me on instagram you know that my my mac and my phone broke like both at the same time and i've just got a new phone i went and got the iphone max like the big one and it's so good i don't i should have got it sooner like the camera quality is amazing and yeah it just actually works like my last phone was so broken so i guess that was kind of like a blessing in disguise i have a seychelles vlog which will be up soon i'm so excited for that video and i can't wait to start editing that one um if you haven't already checked out my latest hong kong vlog i absolutely loved that trip like, i've literally had the best few weeks ever but i must admit it does feel so good to like be back in in the gym and i just can't wait to start eating properly again and setting some like new physique goals i do love working towards stuff and always you know setting myself some new goals if you've been asking about house updates and I'm literally I have added so much like I've added a lot of stuff but I haven't officially put it in its house I haven't placed things how I want them to I've got a bunch of photo frames but I've just been staring at them because I quite like to stare at stuff for two weeks or so and then decide where they go if you know what I mean <laughs> I did get a sofa however that came and it doesn't really suit the room so I am exchanging that and um, that should arrive tomorrow so as soon as that is in I'm going to film a bit of a house update video and I can't wait to show you guys my bed as well I'm literally in love with that and it's like the dreamiest bed ever but yeah I'm just going to crack straight into it so I'll just show you so everything everything here is from Tesco lol look at this like array of milk selection and then if we come over here this is all from B&M um I get all like my cleaning stuff my some of my protein bits and bobs just to show you because I have these every day generally so I just thought I'd run through it like this like I'll just prop you there watch some of my other food hauls you'll probably see I do always get these like tilde rices I just mix them up they've got some like new summery additions and they're really cheap they're like less than a pound and if you've got quite a busy schedule or you work from home or just for general meal prep, I just find these so quick and easy. I can never quite get like the rice consistency right, so these are just like literally so perfect for me. And they taste really good. Like this is spicy Mexican, that's one of my favourites. I haven't tried these yet, summery rice salad, limited edition. These have got like lemon, I think these would be really nice in like a chicken salad for lunch. So I got two of these and I usually have like half the packet like per meal. Then I've got Brazilian Samba, that is really really good. Lemon and herb, just like a summery selection and I can't wait to try these. And I have at least one of these, one packet of these a day, I'll always sort of have them with any meal they're just really quick and easy and you bang them in the bang them. you put them in the microwave for two minutes and they're done and then i got a bunch of diet cokes i found these these were like on offer they were just coke zero i personally really like the coke zero rather than diet coke i always drink i have like one of these in the morning raspberry vitamin c i have like a pint of water with these high strength vitamin c like it's like a morning ritual and then I got some salmon. Then I got two salmon fillets. I did notice it was a bit more expensive in Tesco. Overall, I spent 51 pounds and 52p. Um, and I do feel like if I'd have gone to Aldi, it'd have probably been 30 pounds. But I just want to see like the different quality, if you know, if I can actually notice the difference in the taste or like in the meat or anything, and if the fruit and veg lasts any longer. Because sometimes I do think Aldi fruit and veg doesn't always last that well. I usually have these with like sweet potatoes or rice and some salad. 
coloured. Then I got 10 smoked bacon medallions. I personally like smoked. Uh, this is like such a morning staple. I usually have these with some eggs. I do buy my eggs in bulk from Costco. If you can see, you can get this huge box which lasts longer because Mason eats so many eggs. So yeah, I'll have these with like some egg whites in the morning whilst we're on breakfast. I got some um, Tesco Super Smooth Porridge. Now I've had to swap swap switch to super smooth because my stomach i just don't agree with normal porridge oats sometimes getting the consistency right is a bit of a challenge especially oh, if you're in a rush it's a struggle so i find these a lot easier to cook and I generally have quite eat porridge in the morning just be careful how you cook it because if you don't if it's not properly cooked or it's like too dry obviously porridge is going to ex expand in your stomach and it's just not it's not the best for you when it's like uncooked I prefer this super smooth one so i'm just trying that at the moment it doesn't have any added sugars or like the macros are really similar so yeah i have that for breakfast and i have a zinc and magnesium capsule with my breakfast in the morning i get these from my protein as well as an essential omega-3 this is just really good for your hair skin nails that kind of thing so yeah, that is what I have in the morning, as well as a coffee. Also, I got some sourdough bread. I haven't had this Warburton's one before, uh, sourdough style. But I have like one piece of toast. This is another breakfast meal that I quite like. A piece of toast and scrambled egg. And um, that's really nice with like some sugar-free tomato ketchup. I really, really like that. For snacks, I really like these char, I don't know how you say it, char gluten-free crisp bread. They're just really nice. Like, I, I like putting like dipping them in cottage cheese, low in saturated fat and suitable for vegetarians. I got Got some Tesco's onion and chive cottage cheese. They only had fat free. Now be careful when you're picking up fat free free products because they generally add more sugar in. So I always keep an eye on that. I, do, I generally just go for the full fat everything because there's less sugar in it. Cottage cheese that I got. We eat quite a lot of cottage cheese. Like this just goes really nice with anything. I also got some king prawns. These weren't too expensive actually, but I love like shoving these in the frying pan. Then I also got. I always get five percent fat beef mince, lean beef, carrot, and onion mince. I tried this last week and it was really nice it's, i am trying to cut down like generally on red meat just because it is higher in saturated fat and then i got some chicken breast these were more expensive definitely in tesco in aldi they're a lot cheaper chicken breast obviously is just the easiest thing you can put it with rice sweet potato um you can save it for the next day have it in a salad or use a beetroot this these are the beetroot wraps Again, I found these in my pink food challenge and I really, really like them. So I, I'll just shove like some chicken in with that and some salad. I also got some cucumber, some avocado because you can just do so much with avocado. I quite like smashing avocado, dipping it in with crisp bread or like crisps as well as putting it on like my toast and scrambled egg on top and just having it like generally in a salad. I just think there's just so much you can do. I am so bad for picking up the ripen at home ones. It's so nice, you know, and you want to go get an avocado and you've got to wait a week or whatever. I also got some cooked beetroot here. Moving over to, I've got some more red onions. I just, I love the red onions and some sweet potato. Then I also picked up some strawberries and blueberries, which I've already tucked into. I always do this. I, I think I was eating them in the car actually. And I actually like to have these as pre-workout. I use them as like a carb or I'll put them on my porridge in the morning. Tr trying to experiment with milk at the moment because I don't feel like I love one specific milk. So I've seen everyone raving about this oatly milk. I wanted to give it a try for myself and I, this is like my usual lacto-free mason personally likes this green top milk but yeah i really hope i got on with this because you know coffee machine doesn't do that it doesn't taste that good and i've seen a lot of people raving about this one so i'll see what that is about these are the six layer bars you might have seen these me banging on about these on my instagram but they're so nice they're like lemon meringue protein bars the last stage is you get loads in a box and i definitely have at least one a day pre or post workout they're so nice <laughs> Um, and obviously you can get 35% off with Live35 and the link below. And this is the protein. I use the Impact Whey protein in cookies and cream. I'll always have this post-workout. Over here I've got the C and Samaya Watermint Anti-Back Hand Wash. Nail Varnish Remover. For armpit Smell. I've used this one for about a year. I've got like a pink nail varnish. This is like my, for my toes. So I'll probably do that tonight. And then over here is everything that I got from b and M. I do watch a lot of Mrs. Hinch and I do love my cleanliness. I picked up some bulbs which were $3.99 for my bedroom lamps. This is the bleach that I use. I really like this carpet bleach actually and I just got some carpet stain remover just for any accidental like fake tan or makeup stains and I've seen loads of people banging on about this one. Um, I got some fresh discs from Duck. 
which are like little blue things. I've never used these before as well, but I wanted to give them a try. Some fly and wasp killer, just because obviously uh, when I have the patio dolls open, I always get all them like pesky friends coming in. Um, some oost descaler just for appliances, um, and that was really cheap. I think it was like 90p. Sink and drain gel. This is just an unblocker. I use this for the shower, like you know, all your hairs and stuff that can get caught in the thing. I just shoved that down there. I also thought I'd try this Dove Nourishing Secrets hand wash. I'll just pour that into like my hand wash thing. So yeah, and then I got some food waste bags just for like my recycling. Um, two packs of matches for the fire, even though I've not been having it on that much lately, so I always like to stock up on them. And then I just got a four socket extension lead just as I needed a new one. Also, if any of you guys who are watching like organization, I picked these up from B&M as well, these dry food storage sets. I can't wait to like put my cereals and stuff. I love all this like organizational stuff. So yeah, that is, I think that's pretty much everything. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see any more food style videos or workouts, do let me know in the comments below. And see you guys in the next video.